Hey, what's going on? My name is Grayson, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time, I finished up Crossbone Isle, and then I showed off that the, um, the mystical, the one, the only, um, <clears throat> the pink tornado brought us back to Hala, so off screen I made it back to, uh, actually, this will be a smarter idea here. I made it back to, uh, Lalavero here. I bought some stuff, I sold some stuff, I really just want to show off, uh, the other cursed weapon releases here, so I'm gonna quickly do this, and I'm gonna cut until I eventually get Garrett to uh, unleash the weapon. I currently have on the Muramaza, so if we get him to there, we go. There, wow, that was a lot of damage, but not still not as good as the other weapon. And the reason why I'm here instead of just meeting you guys back at the top of the lighthouse is because the only way, like I said, the only way to unequip these is by uh, talking to the great healer. And paying for it, so it's kind of a pain in the booty hole. I might actually sell. Actually, I should probably gonna sell this these, this Muramaza once we uh. Oops, wrong one. Removing evil is kind of like removing a curse, you know. <laughs> There's seventy. I think. It's, I think it's depending on the weapon, because I think it was two sixty to take off the uh, the axe I had on. I was actually. Gonna, I was gonna show that um. Uh, I wasn't gonna say. It. Oh wow. I don't know if that unequipped the demon mail as well. I don't know if that, you were cursed. And the Wicked Mace is the only one I haven't shown yet. Correct, yes. 323. 323. Okay, I was making sure that the axle was indeed the most powerful weapon. Uh, it is indeed. I have also swapped out some equipment on Mia specifically and uh, Garrett. Um, this is because I will be doing an RNG trick later on to um, get certain weapons. There we go. This should uh <laughs> look at that tiny mace. It looks like it looks tiny in Garrett's little baby hands. Uh I wonder if it'd be a wise idea. Wow, 41 damage, that's cute. Wow, that's actually not a very whole lot, now is it? Should might be a good idea to kill one of these guys. Oh, there we go, deadly poison. So uh, as you can imagine, that could deadly poison something. Um uh, which could suck for it. Alright, uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna meet you guys back in the first room in, um, Venus Lighthouse, where I was, uh, at the beginning of a couple episodes, or when I ended off an episode, I think, I don't remember, it was a while back already, uh, I'll meet you guys Oh snap, I'm actually trying to find a, uh, some Bible stuff, I actually found some new stuff I didn't know would just randomly appear in here. <clears throat> we got, uh, let's see here, I believe the magical Kasak was not in here before, I don't even know what a Kasak is, um, this is better for me, however, I specifically put on Ninja Guard because I need her to have a certain amount of agility. There's a mirror shield. Wow, that would kill Isaac's attack. Spirit gloves, yeah, I think that's what I mean. We're at the end of the game anyways. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna clip to anyone else. Let's see first. Uh, before we do that... Battle gloves, I think we already know. Yeah, that's no good for anybody. Spirit armlet. Virtuous armlet. Uh, that'd bring Ives attack down, but that'd bring us defense up by over 10. I think that might be a good idea, to be honest. Unfortunately. Uh, we'll keep that for a second, a hot minute as well. Uh, we also have the Adam's Helm. I believe we've got that Toby Spring. Jewel Crown, that's a new one. Lucky Cap. Hmm. Any Thrill Circlet. Uh, you know what? Let's give it to Ivan. With Ivan's uh, defense being solo, it's always a good idea to up it as much as we can, and it would be about as efficient for uh, Garrett to have anyway, so that's okay. Nah, no love for that. Glittering Tiara. Nope. I was actually looking for a kimono, but I guess I never got one of those. I thought I did. Oh well. Alright, I'm back! This time we're at the Venus Lighthouse! Yay! Um. <laughs> right off the bat here, we're actually be doing the RNG methods to uh, get some of the best weapons in the game for Mia and uh, Ivan, actually. Um, this, this first one we're actually want to do here is uh, go through this, these, these stairs here, which will lead to this room, you might recognize. Oh, I didn't mean to touch that. Um, if we move this, that'll open that. Anyone's trying to stop me? No. If you go down those stairs and come back up, that will not have. That will obviously. Actually, we could even showcase that by going here. So, so yeah. Okay. For a second, I thought it didn't work. I was like, wow, what? Okay. So for this first one, we're gonna be getting the blessed mace. Excuse me. <laughs> 
So we're gonna wanna save and then reset. The good old days. Ah, oh, episode one. Great. 10 out of 10 mates. And we're gonna open up here. And we're gonna take a wheel run around. Let's be in this room for whatever reason. Uh, we should get into a battle here in a moment. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Should be. It was incorrect. Turns out I don't know how to read. Okay, so I just re uh, reset the game again, and you actually want to go back here and run around this room. I thought I was in the electrical room. It turns out I was an idiot, dumb header face. So gonna run around. Hopefully, this causes the proper thing to occur this time. Let's speed this process up a bit by using the Lura cap. Hey, that's actually correct. Okay, so now we're gonna run, which should be successful. Good, 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 good. And then we should get into another battle here in a moment. Oh, the Lura Cap's very good. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> have Isaac and Ivan attack the Thunder Lizard on the first turn. And have Garrett and Mia defend. Okay. I'm straight up reading these instructions. Good, good. Uh, the Thunder Lizard should attack. On the next turn, just have uh, Isaac use Flint. And everyone else defends. So hopefully this shall work. Once again, the only reason why I'm doing this is the fact that it didn't work. What? Okay, I may have figured out the problem. Um, I remember last time we tried to do this. Uh, I, I remember a guy telling me you have to unequip everything that like replenishes PP or HP at the end of battle because that actually messes with the formula. So I'm hoping that this time this will be successful because I unequipped all that stuff. Will it actually work? Because I don't... can't... Wait, what? Why did Mia still recover? God damn it! What? What? Okay, we're back! Um... Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is uh, get a weapon right away here uh, using the RNG method, because this is apparently the best room to do that. So, to enable to do this, to get uh, pretty much Ivan's best uh, uh, weapon in the game, um, this is kind of weird. You have to have... Uh, here, let's see here. Um, Isaac has to be faster than Mia. So Isaac's agility is 180, Mia's agility is 174, so that requirement is met. And Garrett also has to be slower than Mia, so his agility is 144, Mia is 174, so a big difference there. Garrett's agility also has to be apparently be around 150. Um, the guy I read said at least around 150. It's, it's so that would make me imagine that it should be at 150 at least, but it's 144. And I already tested this one, so this one definitely works. Um, okay, with that being said, you would then save in here. And you might be wondering, well, how do you adjust the agility and stuff? There's plenty of items you could get to uh, mess with the agility. For example, the running shirts. Uh, I think there's some of the quick boots, which I think we get. Oh, we get in the the slots game. And then with Mia, I also would uh, equip you. I unequipped this because it's. Oh, that's right. I I, don't, I did this because to boost agility for her. And that's it. So yes, what you want to do here is you want to save. You want to save in this room when all the requirements are met. Oh yeah, the other thing is you want to have all your gen on set as well. Then you're gonna reset the game. Do, 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 do. There's another weapon I want to get doing this method uh, called the Bust Mace, which is Mia's kind of best weapon. Best on attack damage. The only thing that's kind of unfortunate about it is it doesn't have a release. Okay, this is good. So when you run around the room, you're going to get into a battle with these exact monsters, a friend Rar and an Arsgargle. I will be going over the stats and all that, all these guys later. Right now, I want to concentrate on how to get this. So, you want Isaac to use Clay Spire, get to use Flare Wall. And Ivan to use Tornado, and we had to cast Ice Horn. All of this has to be pointed at the Fenrar, or at least, you know, concentrate on him. And watch this all not work just because it worked earlier, because that's totally what would happen to me. <laughs> Alright, and uh, we're gonna want Isaac to defend next. Garrett to unleash Torch, you could also unleash Scourge apparently, on the Fenrar specifically. Ivan defends, and Mia cast Wish. When you wish upon a star. And uh, I like the effects. I like how that looks. So you'll see the Fenrar will go down. You got this weapon specifically from the Fenrar, by the way. Alright, um, at this point, Isaac's gonna have to use Flint or Bane on the Gliscorgal. I like to go with that. Everyone else defends. 
Flint is stronger than Bane in general, so it's generally better. So you're gonna get a potion, and you're also gonna get the Kiku <laughs> Kiku Chimonji, Kiku Chimonji, which is a freaking awesome looking weapon. Ooh. I wonder if I could actually get the other weapon now. I'm gonna try getting the other weapon. Huh. One moment. Okay, so I just took a look here. I wanted to make sure I would be okay to try this anyways. Um, next I'm gonna be trying to get the Blessed Mace. So what you wanna do here is you're gonna run down here. And there are no specific requirements for this apparently. You just need a strong enough weapon. I actually tried getting this before the Kikumonji, but I don't think Isaac was strong enough. So you're gonna wanna sit. Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna wanna reset. Once you save, I should say. But then, once this restarts here. I'm really hoping this is gonna work, otherwise, this is gonna be very weird. And then once this happens, we're gonna go back through here. We will explain all these rooms in a moment here. I'm gonna be wondering, what is going on? What is that room? I recognize it, I think. Go around, you're gonna run to a will this and a recluse. There you go, perfect. Just. Dang, God dang it, I didn't have all my gin set properly. Damn it! One awkward cut later, so I didn't have all. What the f? One awkward cut later, I didn't have all my gin on set, so that was weird. Alright, uh, we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna run around. And we should run into a very specific Pacific Rim set of enemies. The Rakeloos and a. Uh, uh, why did I run for. Wait, no! Actually, nope, that's right. Wait a minute. I thought I just brain further. No, you actually want to run from those guys and run around again until you run to the next set of enemies. Which will be a Thunder Lizard. Alright, at this point, you want to attack with Isaac and Ivan. And everyone else just defends. So Garrett and Mia defend. There we go, hopefully it's the right guard. And on this turn, we're gonna have Isaac use Flint. And that should be it, right? Yes. Hopefully Isaac is not strong enough to kill him. No, he's not. Son of a bitch, man. Alright, as it turns out, Isaac is not strong enough to uh, actually get this to work out. So that's unfortunate. We're gonna re-equip re that and give this to his proper owner, Ivan. Look at that. Look at that. 24 attack compar comparatively to the crystal wand rod thing. <laughs> oh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna re-equip everyone's stuff for now. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could do this with this stuff equipped. I don't have to ha I don't have to have all the stuff on equipped anymore now they got the Kikumonji. Kikumonju. Uh is there anything else I got equipped? Doesn't to look like it. There was some mostly Garrett stuff, so that was nice. Anything that I could equip? No. Um, okay. You. Good, good. Um, that should be it, though. Alright, we're gonna try this one more time here. Now that we boosted Isaac's attack a little bit more. So here, we, we save in here. For the hundredth time. Oh my god! <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong buttons. And then we reset. Alright, once again, we're going to try this. Please work. Please work. I don't know if that's strong enough. Oh, but Mia's recovered. God dang it! I can't have people recovering. That's the issue. I think that's what's messing me up here. Try it anyways. Oh, it doesn't kill him anyways. Okay, whatever. I don't care anymore. Time to bring this ship into the shore. Alright, I'm back. This is gonna be a garbage absolutely horror show to edit because I've attempted to get the stupid maze so many times and I don't know how to get it. <laughs> I do know how to get it, but Isaac's not strong enough yet. Let's run away. Oh, of course you can't. Um, we can start discussing, uh, discussing what these guys are now. So we've already talked about the Thunder Lizards. We, we were already fighting them earlier here, I think. No, maybe I didn't show. I don't even know what I've shown at this point what I haven't. There's Thunder Lizards in here. <laughs> There's Ice Gargoyles and Fenrirs, which we've already fought for the Kikamonji. Uh, Fenrirs, level 28, 406 hit points. Uh, drop 212 gold and 402 experience points. They have the Kikamonji job, which, you know, we already have, which is wonderful. Um, it's a 0.39065% chance. Uh, if you kill it with a Margini, that, that increases to 1.5625%, which is still pretty garbage and baby small. Um... Nice if you get poison cloud. Yeah. Poison that fool. Um He has the ability to use Wicked Howl, which can stun you, Ice Blessing, which hurts a lot, and Double Fang, which has a chance for, to do double damage to ya. And everyone's hurting again. 
Uh, we also fought a... Wait, what? Have I already fought the... Oh, I did fight the Arse Gogos before, didn't I? Okay, I was confused why those weren't my notes. Other enemies you can find here, they've already discussed then. The Chimera Mage, the Ice Gargoyle, which was what just confused me. Manacore King, Skull Warrior, Wild Griffin, and Will O' Wisps. Will O' Wisps. Okay, so to properly explain this room here, because I don't think I have, I actually did, but it's, it, it's really confusing. I don't know what I'm showing anymore or what I'm not. If you move this statue here, this opens up the electric gate. You might remember this, because uh, we're here from the normal, the, the first section of the lighthouse. Did you use reveal? And if you remember that room there, so this is what the, the thing was talking about when they say that part of the lighthouse is the exit. Because you can exit. However, you do not want to go back and explore that way. Because if you go back here, you will see the statue. Of that is not a permanent shortcut. Um, it does have something to do with the story a little bit later on. And I'm pretty sure that's the only reason why that's not a permanent shortcut. Because it would be like, why wouldn't it be, you know? Um, okay, that way it was back to the tunnel rooms. And then, god damn, you can actually enter the... Uh, the lighthouse itself here in a moment, even though we kind of are here. This griffin is a beautiful griffin. He's a beautiful young boy. Here we go, you guys. Oh boy! Uh, sure, but it's good. good. Wait, do I have that lure cap on still? Grand golems! And boulder beasts, I believe these are all new. Yep, they sure are. Uh, we'll kill these guys first, just because they can suicide bomb us, and that's not fun. Boulder beasts, level 27! 211 hit points, 164 gold, um, 278 experience points. They have a 0.78125% chance of dropping a water of life. However, when you kill it with a Mercury Gym, it increases to 3.125%. And they build these Mad Blast, Headbutt, and Dynamite, which is a suicide move and hurts a lot. Uh, uh, well, actually, let's do this here. Grand Gold, we'll go over in a second here. Or up! Um. Here we go, Grand Golem! Level 28, 476 hit points, 208 gold, 412 experience points. They have... What? They have a 0.78125% chance to drop a Zodiac Wand. I didn't know about that! That's another thing I'm gonna have to do. Dang it, I was not prepared for that. I was level 28. Wow, it's a lot of experience. HP up by 7, PP up by 2, attack by 3, defense by 1, agility by 3. Oh, dang, how do I not remember that? They have to use Trench on Fist as well, which is the uh, move that has a chance to bring you down to 1 HP, so that sucks, it's also super strong, so even if it doesn't, even if that secondary chance doesn't happen, it still hurts a lot. Uh, alright, we'll go this way. <laughs> Unless there's a reveal here, do we have a reveal set? We sure do. So it's just, it's a, it's a taunting room. We don't want that here. Uh, talking about these guys already, um, dang. Dang, dang, dangers. Flash, man. We'll be able to summon rush next turn and hopefully deal with these guys just rather quickly. Crap, I didn't realize the Grand Golem had a drop for us. Uh, actually, I think that's already it for enemies here. Let's see here. Yep, that's. Well, there's the recluse, which we've seen, but I haven't gone over yet, so we'll wait to see him again before I go over him. At least I think we've seen him. <laughs> Once again, I don't know what I'll. Shut up. Duh. You tried your very best. You know, I'm not gonna even waste my summons on these guys. They ain't worth my. Azura! So that's that move, that's a really cool move, that would have done more damage if it wasn't for the fact that Ivan had all his Jin on standby. <laughs> Let's try going over here first. I think... Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna wait! Oh, again. 154, that's beautiful. Mwah. Um, there is a weapon in here that might help us get the busted mace, by the way, which is why I'm not really freaking out about why I can't get it yet. Uh, uh, hold on a second here. I want to make sure I'm going the wrong way first. Like, up, what's up here, first of all? Right, another another blank room here. Oh, God. <laughs> well, actually, it's not a big deal, because we get summon rush. Jeez, five enemies. That's a lot, dude. This guy has an army behind him. Why so strong? And... Uh, it was put that straight in the Grand Golem. They're so ugly looking. Should put more in the Grand Golem. These guys, these boulder beasts, don't have a whole lot of hit points. Should die pretty. It's so weird when like you see like look at the Grand Golem. It's like he has like all the slime and stuff coming off of him. I suppose it's just supposed to be ground, but it looks like it looks like like liquid. It's weird, scary, and I don't like it. Boulder beasts also have very low PV, much like their uh, their cousins, uh, stone 
Buffy Stone something? Stone Soldiers? Oh, wow. Oh, for a second I thought they survived all the stuns. I was like, holy crap. Wow. 36 damage to the Bullies. Wow. Considering it's a third level summon, that's actually kind of sad. Come on, there we go. And we got it. Eric goes level 28. Maximum HP by 8. Uh, PP buff by 2. Attack by 4. Defense by 2. Agility by 4. And a bunch of coinage. Uh, my timer says 21 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and assume we haven't hit that time yet, so I'm gonna go a little bit longer here. Good god, do I have the Lyra Cap on? Let's see. That would that would explain why we run into so many enemies. Okay, I thought maybe this is just because, you know, last dungeon, gotta fight millions of things. No, hopefully we'll run into a lot less things now. I didn't realize it's that. Jeez, man. The, the uh, lure cap is just like the level of um, giving you a bunch of monsters that it makes you think like, am I just getting really unlucky here? Put it on here. It's a waterfall. A sand fall that always kind of looks like... It looks like a drink to me. I think it's... I'm assuming it's supposed to be sand. It even makes that... I, well, I guess it could be water too. That kind of sounds like sand. But I guess that really could just be water as well, couldn't it? So either it's brown water, brown gross water, it's sand. Take your pick. So, you can actually fall down this waterfall. We're not gonna waste time with that though, I think. There we go. That's what I thought. The Thunder Crown, which I believe. It's cursed. How nice of you, game, for telling me that it is cursed. And uh, since Garrett is our cursed lad, we're gonna give that right to him. Oh, wow. That's no longer useful to anyone. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Perhaps we'll complete this first section here. See if there's any secret gin behind the waterfall. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there is not. <laughs> Isn't that funny, you guys? It shouldn't be. Probably shouldn't have just attacked. Uh-oh. <laughs> Storm Blessing, yeah. 133, yeah, that hurts a lot. I don't like this, no thank you. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Oh, up! Wait, oh man. Should have had Ivan attack the Boulder Beast and Isaac attack the Thunder Lizard. I'm such a fool! Oops, not here, poison. I didn't actually get a chance to go over all like the great healer stuff. Oh crap, what was the other way though? Gosh dang it, man! Uh, wow, still no uh, recluse. Recluse. Hopefully, it's not like you can only find that one first area there. That would be annoying. Oh wait, no, we did! That's right, this is the treasures. God damn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 don't do it. Don't get him back. Uh, a recluse? No. It's fleet. Uh, it's the Grand Chimeras. They're still here. Wait, Grand Chimera, is that correct? There's a... No, it's Chimera Mage. Uh, left. Nope, incorrect. I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. Please call me these names. They'll make me feel good. Deep inside. Oh. It's about it's about that time to play a game of Where's Isaac? I think that'll be a great place to end it. While playing the game, Where's Isaac? Ooh, jump his defense with Tony, yeah, that's pretty good. Good job. Wild Griffin. Griffin, use your final move to kill Isaac. Oh man, oh, well. Alright, this. Ah, I wonder what the solution to this puzzle is. I both like this and hate it. Once again, because you know it's not a move puzzle. Like, oh great. I haven't had enough of these. But it's still kind of cool. So we get that switch there. Which also conveniently activates a shortcut. It does, however, stop that waterfall. It kind of sucks. I wish you could have all the waterfalls on, you know? Just for, like, completionist sake, I guess. Let's see the waterfall's now gone. And if we can quickly fight this lad. And I think I'm going to start closing down the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, next time we'll continue going through Venus Lighthouse. I like how they had that little jump there. Just, just have a little shortcut. It was unnecessary, but greatly appreciated. And with that waterfall, we can now go this way. Which leads us to this section. Um, but we'll end off right here. Actually, let's, let's go in the middle of it. There we go. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye!